My administration don't settle all benefits and gratuity of former governor of Bende State, now Edo and Delta State, late Professor Ambrose Ali, after 34 years. Edo State Governor Gordon Obaseke talked this one when he received the award of Most Pension-Friendly Governor for Niger, where Nigerian Union of Pensioners, NUP, gave him on Tuesday, August 22, 2023, for Government House Benin City. Oga Obaseke can talk say this award day more than national honor. Say of say the honor they come from people will not be the strongest for the society and say the association know they collect money to give honor. A constant talk say in they committed to the well being of pensioners for the state. That's now why them they pay their benefits regularly where include pensions and gratuity where they grant before. And say in don't pay all benefits of former governor Ambrosali last week and say for the 80 years birthday of Ambrosali wife for Birmingham United Kingdom, the state Congo present check of all her late husband husband benefit and say him as governor not go forget where in they come from. It's with a very, very deep sense of gratitude and appreciation that I want to thank the national executive and the state executive of the Nigerian Union of Pensioners for this very unique honor that you have bestowed on me this uh, afternoon. If I tell you that I'm not honored and excited, I am lying. <laughs> there's, there's nothing as gratifying as when people let you know, when you are still in office, that they appreciate what you are doing for them. When they call you, and of the little they have, they expend themselves and expend of that little resources they have to appreciate you. There is nothing as gratifying as that sort of question. So I want to thank you and thank God that, you know, the second line of our national anthem, which we also adopted in our state anthem, that may the labors of our heroes past never go in vain. Because if you do not appreciate and extol what people who came before you did, then God Almighty may not be so favorable to you when you leave. That's why I want to thank God for the opportunity that he has given me to serve and to see some of the things that have not been done right and to try and make them right. Just an aside, last Saturday, the widow of our late governor, Professor Ambrose Ali, was 80 years old in Birmingham. And you know the sacrifice this man made for us as a state. We then decided to celebrate with her. And I asked one of the children, I said, what do you think is an appropriate present for your mother, said, just do her the honor of paying my father's benefits while he was in office. I said, you mean Professor Ambrose Ali's benefits were not paid? They said, no. We then went into the records, checked, and prepared a check, and took it to her in England. This is to tell you where we're coming from. And so I am so glad that we remember. Obaseke can say when he resumed office as governor for 2016, some people wear black for the state, they ask for their pension. And he can promise them, say, before the next May Day, them go wear white and them wear white and say, but let's sweet and sick of, say, the union trust in government. Oga Obaseke can say, talk, say, the next 30 days, them go out to their money, sick of, say, the subsidy they tell on everybody for the country. Oh, May Day before I came into office. And even my first May Day was one in which groups of people came 
wearing black. Remember? Yes. Mourning. Mourning for having worked for their state and their people. But in our very, our, our very eyes, a year after we get, got into office, I think the May Day of 2018, thank God, they wore white. <laughs> So for me, it's important to remember where we are coming from and what we've gone through. No person deserves to be respected and be treated with dignity if you don't treat others with respect and dignity. More so for those who have given off so much of themselves to keep the state and the system functioning for the rest of us. If people did not teach us, if they did not take care of us when we're sick, if they did not build administrative systems to make sure that we had infrastructure and we had services, what would we have leveraged on? What would we have grown up on? And the fact that they are not there today, they are not as strong to continue providing those services, does not mean you should not acknowledge what they've done and also continue paying them what is due to them. I am so glad that you have been able to trust me. Because I remember the first encounter with the unions when I came into office. In December 2016, when I said that, look, January 1, 2017, I am drawing the line that I was going to convert Edo State from a direct benefit system into a contributory pension, uh, pension system. You recall? There was a lot of mistrust, but I thank you for giving me that opportunity. Today, we've contributed almost 10 billion into that fund. Because I understood the issues and the challenges of pensions. So I said, let us draw the line. So as I'm going forward, it will be remembered in history that from the day I started serving as governor, I made provisions for pension contributions of those working in the system so that we don't have a situation in future when you retire and there's no money to pay you. That is why I insisted that we must cut over to the contributory pension scheme and I thank God that we have not missed our own payments and contributions for one day. We also then said, after now that we have drawn the line, we say forward ever, those people who were now being owed pension, not out of their own fault, but because they never accrued their benefits in the system, what do we do? We must have a plan to begin to redeem government's obligations. So we started paying pension areas, and by the grace of God, in a few years, we had cleared all outstanding pension areas. Now, what is left are gratuity and, gratu and areas of gratuity. Thank God, we've started that process, and gratuities go back almost 35 years or 40 years in some cases, we have now started paying them. And now, I believe by this month, the next month, we'll have only 20 years worth of benefits outstanding. I may not be able to finish, but I will try and make sure that even if we have to put it in the law, you are paid. <laughs> if there's anything that's been bothering me, because I sat down, and you know, I've always warned. I warned May, May Day this year that we've come to the end of the road. The old economic order in Nigeria has now expired. We have to come up with a new one. We should stop deceiving ourselves. Now subsidy is gone. The exchange rates have been, have been aligned. So the era of free money 
has almost come to an end. But the consequences are that the weakest and the most vulnerable in our society, unfortunately, will carry quite a huge part of the burden of these policies. I'm shocked that people who campaigned around the country saying that they were going to remove subsidy had no clear plans on what to do to support those who will be victims of this subsidy or removal. I'm really, really shocked and scared about what we are going through today, where the government doesn't seem to have a plan to respond to the consequences of the policy measures it has taken. But for us in Edo State, we will not abandon you. We don't like the word palliative because it's deceitful. We would rather use the words like support to support those who will be victims of these policy measures. We'll work with you, NUP, to see how we can, particularly those who retired at, with very low uh, terminal wages. I agree with you. We must look at consequential adjustments. I'm not doing you a favor. It is your right. Edo State Head of Service Anthony Kukbawa Esquire Contok say the less sweet pensioner and sick of the better thing we Governor Obaseki don't do for them and say they never see a Muge governor like Obaseki before for Edo State. Your Excellency, the National Union of Pensioners and a number of pensioners are here today representing the entirety of the pensioners in Edo State to honor Your Excellency for the multifarious things and success stories that you have in the pension space. So Your Excellency, the pensioners are very, very happy about what you have done, all the achievements that you've had within the pension space. As Your Excellency would have noticed, it is not just pensioners that are here. Civil servants and public servants here today. Why we are here, Your Excellency, is to solidarize with them and to join them to thank Your Excellency for those things that you are doing. In fact, you have done so much for the civil servants, you have also done so much for the pensioners. And Your Excellency, one thing many people don't realize is that as a civil and public servant, you're always, almost always looking behind your shoulders to see how your forebears, how those who did this work before you are treated. Because even if you are having the best of times in the civil service, and those who retired before you are not having as good a time as you are having, it is a problem because that would impact on your performance. As a matter of fact, it is not possible to completely divorce what happens within the civil service space from what happens outside of the civil service space, particularly within the pension space. So we want to join them to thank Your Excellency. Never before have we seen the kind of governance in a do state that Your Excellency has brought in a do state. Chemo, Nigerian Union of Pensioners, Edo State Chapter, Comrade Pulem Nuruwa, can talk, say one good tongue deserve another, now he make them come give him this award. Take up, say when he starts, then talk, say no good fit, but he don't make them possible and say them don't they receive their pension on on before 26 day of every month. And say local government pension they come before month end. And say when Oga Obaseki enter office for 2016, he meet pension debit of 20 months to 40 months, but the governor don't clear all with space most more mental. But Nigeria, you know, but Nigeria, you know, pensioners, I don't say chapter, I don't say chairman, Comrade P. E. Norua. There is a popular saying that one good turn deserves another. The decision of the entire, I don't say NUP executive committee to give special award of recognition to our amiable record breaker, indefatigable governor, His Excellency Godwin Inogaga Selbaseki, as the most pensioner friendly governor. In the history of Edo State, it's our little way of showing appreciation to someone who changed the face of governance, governance in Edo State in all ramifications and put smiles on the faces of pensioners all over Edo State. Your Excellency, I would like to put on record 
for posterity's sake, the journey so far in the history of pensioners in Edo State, where we were before the advent of Governor Godwin Obaseki, and where we are as at today. What he tattoo, we thought were impossible, have been made possible by the man called Godwin Obaseki. The groundbreaking performance achievements include but not limited to the following. Monthly pension payment. Our monthly pension comes up on or before 26 days of every month. This was made possible by the directive of Mr. Governor. That of the local government pension comes before the end of every month. This has to be so because the local government has to wait until money comes from federation account. However, it has changed from three months, three weeks after the end of the month to latest month end. Payment, payment of pension arrears. The government of Gordon Obaseki made a huge arrears of payment of pen, unpaid pension, ranging from 20 months to over 48 months. The arrears owed pensioners was more than 4.3 billion. The governor adopted the pay small small method to clear all the arrears owed the state pensioners. And the local and the local government also started paying their pension arrears with the savings of 1.9 billion left by the immediate past commissioner of local government. But the money got exhausted, the state government under the leadership of Governor Baseki advanced the sum of 1.5 billion to the Ministry of Local Government to conclude the payment. National President of Nigerian Union of Pensioners Comrade Godwin Ikechukwu Abumisi, where they represented by the Deputy National President Comrade Aliu Mohammed, contact say but this sweet them for the love where Obaseki don't show them and say government need to treat her work as well after acting service here. The Governor of Example, uh, the introduction of uh, my president was not complete because my president is Godwin, and His Excellency is also Godwin. <laughs> An address by National President of Nigerian Union Board to His Excellency Governor Godwin Obaseki. It is with utmost joy and pride and sense of fulfillment the entire members of Nigeria Union of Pensioners all over Nigeria gather here today to honor one of our own, a governor like no other in the history of Edo State. Before I continue, sir, Your Excellency, what you have done for Edo State pensioners will have a ripple effect in Nigeria. The experience we have had all over the years in Nigeria is a call for concern for us as pensioners, senior citizens, and the future of our nation. A situation where pensioners are treated with ignominy, like lepers, beggars, is not only dehumanizing to pensioners but send wrong signals to the young one who are still in active service. It is my considered view, sir, that if Nigeria treats our pensioners very well with dignity, decorum, and respect, they deserve and purposely make life after service better for them, just like while in service, we don't need the services of EFCC, ICPC, and other anti-graft agencies at all. Because when the future is guaranteed, government money and properties in their care will be much safer. Make on not forget, say, as we see them, now so we they talk them. We know they take blame. From Government House Benin City, A. Carter, Ojoy Soli, TMC TV News. <laughs>